Hello everyone, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome again, new episode on how to and today we're gonna to talk about a Crocker Block plugin for WordPress. But before we even start, don't forget to like and share my videos, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you can get notified when I create new content. So without any delay, let's go to the Crocker Block page. This is the actual plugin we're going to have a look is the Jet Style Manager. All the links and information below in the description. Don't forget you can actually consult the Crocker Block knowledge page for this particular plugin. And here you can see it tells a little bit on where the actual plugin works and with which other plugins it automatically bent, uh, you know, bent with. For example, it works with Jet Form Builder, Jet Smart Filters, Jet Engine, so on and so forth. All the information are here. Now, without any delay, let's go to the WordPress dashboard. I already got the Jet Form Builder installed. I'm going inside here and I'm going to show you. We got two forms already created. Let me, for example, uh, trash this one. But just to make it quick, I'm going to show you how you can actually create a form pretty fast. So I'm going to add add new. I'm going to add a title. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove those two fields, remove block here. And also I'm going to remove the block here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the add. I'm going to do jet and I'm going to import already made form. In this case, it will be the application form. Once happy, I'm going to click on publish. Just to go back to the Crocker block, you can actually download the plugin from this page. Once it's been downloaded, don't forget to go to plugins. You can add new. Again, there's plenty of tutorials that I have made. I will link some below on how to install templates and plugins. And as you can see, we got the style manager already activated. So that has been done out of the way. We already made the form. Let's go to the pages. I have already made two pages. One is for Gutenberg, one is for Elementor. I'm going to show you both anyway, because as you can see here, when you go to the products, the style manager, we got Elementor and Gutenberg. Okay. So let's go back here. I'm going to edit the Jet Style GB here, the page I created. And as you can see, that has already come up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the block so you can actually see how it actually works. Now we are inside here. I'm going to click Add the Block, or I can actually click here. It's exactly the same way. But I'm going to click here, Add Block. I already got Jet Form, but just in case you don't see it, just type Jet or Jet Form. As you can see, all I got to do now is just click form here. Now that has been added. As you can see here, we already got the block style because of this particular form or the actual block for the Gutenberg. I'm going to go to options, show more. So that's the block, jet form, and I'm going to choose the form. In this case, I'm going to choose test, the one I just made it. I'm going to leave everything as it is except this one here, enable form pages progress. So as you can see, we got the progress on top, but that's up to you. You know, you don't have to do it. I'm going to update. So as I'm saying, this is for Gutenberg. I'm going to click on the entire block and I'm going to click on the block style. So I'm going to show you a little bit how actually easy it is to actually edit this style for this particular block. We got the form row. You can have a gap before and after. It's very simple, as you can see. You got the actual break, the paddings, the alignments, the borders. I'm going to the actual label. And as you can see, I'm going to add a bigger font. I can change the color of the font. I can actually change the actual field if I want to. Let's go back. So we can actually style the button, the both of them, the back and the next, for example, in this case will be the next. I can go up to the fonts, as you can see it. That's, let's put it 20, change the family fonts, the rest, the color. And as you can see, it's pretty easy to change. And you can also have, for example, the hovering effect 
uh, let's put blue for example so when I go on top it changes to blue and let's say for example white it changed to white there and as you can see it changed it you can actually change the form submission messages in this case we've got two messages we got the success and the error and let's say we got a bigger font there I'm not gonna make it you know I'm only gonna show you the basics on this one here I'm going to show a little bit more on the elemental side of it so as you can see that's how easy it is to edit the style I'm going to preview into a different tab here so you've got to put some stuff to go to the next page for example let's put something here and as you can see we got more fills and we got uh, radio buttons and so on and so forth everything you can see here can be styled okay and you can see we got the submit and the back so what I'm going to do now I'm going to close this one here I'm going to update that I'm going to go back to the pages and I'm going to do exactly the same thing but with Elementor this time so I already was playing on with that so what I'm going to do I'm going to add a structure here uh, it's going to be just one I'm going to leave it as it is to be honest with you I'm going to go to the blocks here I'm going to search for jet here we go we got jet form drag and drop I'm going to choose exactly the same as the other one the test I'm going to leave it as it is I'm going to add the page progress here you can actually change as well uh, on the other one as well you can change the actual required mark as you can see this is an asterisk here you can change to anything you want I'm putting double here but again you can choose anything you want and you can style it as well we both again we got the two messages as well I'm going to update this and now when I go to the style we got exactly the same as the other one as you can see all the styles are there I'm going to do again as well let's go to the labels we got the labels on top here for now I'm going to change the topography again we make something bigger we're going to change the color to a red again then we go back on top let's uh, do this one here the input fields we got a little bit more control for example here you got the input fields as well we're going to change the you can change the topography as well or whatever you write inside for example as you can see here and of course you can change the color and uh, let's do it uh, well, let's do a different color let's do a blue one for example you can have a background color for example let's do a kind of a red again just to make sure that you know you can see it you can change the radius the uh, you can change all four for example all four corners or you can change one corner at a time is up to you as you can see this is all four corners or you can change one corner at a time and you can create something you know kind of a neat like this for example that's up to you whatever you want to do it so we go back and we remove that let's say we want to change the super meet and the next and back button here we go we got the normal we got the color there we let's the color of the fonts is going to be red for example again the background we can change to another color let's change this one to white so you can actually see it better here we go next oh here we go we got that one I wrong here we go um so we got the brick row for example there and again we can get the submit as well what i'm going to do i'm going to write something here fast so i'm going to go to the next so we can see the actual submit again exactly the same thing background crawler you can change the color you want again you can change the topography again you can make as big as you want this is how easy you can actually change things with this easy to use jet style manager from crog block so again once you're happy all you got to do is just update that is really much what you can do um here we go you can actually see how easy it was I know it doesn't look good but again guys you understand what 
we're done here and how easy it is again every single link is in the description below don't forget that you can actually download this and play that with just you know yourself just go to jet style manager click on download and again just uh, you know download it and play with it again unfortunately some of the plugins you gotta pay for it because some of them are premium so again the actual pricing for Crocker Box is fantastic really you can buy one by one here you got all the price list for one from you know for each one of them style manager as you can see is free you got the grid builder you could get the form build as well for free that is the basic you get the pro version as well but you can start with free you know just download this play with it and if you like it you can actually buy the full subscription from crocker blocks so anyway guys thanks again for uh, being here today and uh, i hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and i'll see you next time in the meanwhile don't forget to like and share so you can actually help me with the algorithm with youtube and i can get ranked a little bit better thanks again and i'll see you next time